Hello. So, it's official. I have an obsession with book spines. Like, yes, a lot of book covers are freaking beautiful. But, I just love looking at my book spines. I mean, it's a bonus if the covers are beautiful, which most books nowadays are. But also, yeah, I just love... I just love sitting on my bed when I wake up in the morning and I'm a bit like, uh, you know, in that zombie-fied state. And I love just... Because my my bed, which is on this side of my room, faces my bookshelves, which are behind me. So, you know, I love waking up in the morning in that zombified state and just sitting there and looking at my bookshelf and looking at all the spines and going, oh, my God, that's a beautiful spot beautiful spine oh my god that's a beautiful spine oh look at that spine so i'm making this video about book spines as you can tell from the title and about the covers um so yeah i have some books here that i think have beautiful covers and beautiful spines and i'm going to explain why i like the spines and why i like the covers so i'm just going to get on and show you because i wanted to make a video today i've been sitting at home bored because it's sunday um, I have been reading quite a lot, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a video for you guys, so I'm going to do this. So the first book I have to show you is the hardcover version of The Hive by Jill Hornby. And um, I haven't read this book, but I think the cover is absolutely stunning. I mean, whoever designed this cover is amazing. And under the title it says there's only one room, there's only room for one queen bee. Yeah, I love this cover. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it has, like, there's a key here, and there's, like, a key here, and there's a bee there, and there's a shoe, and there's a handbag, and there's a teacup. But they're all made from, like, different materials and different things, and the spot and the back is really nice as well. And, um, yeah, the blurb is just in the middle of all this design. And, yeah, I just, I, I really like this cover, and it's one of those buttery, waxy covers, and the letters kind of stand out, they're kind of 3D-ish. Um, and I love the fact that some of the book design goes over this letter here. I think that's really nice. But yeah, and I love the spine as well. The spine matches, and it's just the author's name and the title. But I like the spine in particular because the author's name and the title are exactly the same size, in the same font, and they just go side to side, like there's no break in between them. And I really like that. I know that sounds strange, but I really do like that. So that's the first one. And the next book I have to show you is the hardcover version of Maggie O'Farrell's Instructions for a Heatwave. First of all, I love this cover as well. It's gorgeous. It's a summery cover, but it's kind of retro at the same time. And I love the typography here. I've said in a few videos before, I love typography. And I think that's beautiful typography. And yeah, and I like these I like these poppies on the back, they're really nice. I think they kind of stand out against the background, and they're really nice. Um yeah, and I like this spine because it's you know it's got a design in the background that's nice and blocky and it's smart and it it clearly tells you the author and the title. But yeah, when I look at this on my bookshelf, standing like this, I love it. And it's next to it's usually next to this book. Yeah, and uh, I love this spine as well. Um, yeah, so that's Instructions for a Heatwave by Maggie O'Farrell. Next book I have to show you is the hardcover version of Sick by Tom Levine. First of all, this cover is fantastic. This is the YA paranormal zombie read. Um, it's about high school where all this guy's friends are becoming ill and they're turning into zombies. Um, I haven't read it, but I love this cover. And I also love the back. It's very simple. As I'll show you if I take the dust jacket off. The design of the cover kind of... You know, it's a whole design on the cover, which is nice. I've, sh I've said that before in my videos. I love books that have really nice... Um, dust jackets that are the same design all the way around. I love that. Um, and this book, I took the cover off also to show you this. This is what's underneath the cover. And I think that's gorgeous. 
So it's those guys on the dust jacket fighting off a group of zombies. Um, and I love the spine under the dust jacket. I think that is just amazing. I just love that design. I don't know why, I just think that's amazing. I love it. So yeah. And I love the typography, again. Like I said before, I love typography. And the typography on the spine of the dust jacket is nice, and the typography on the cover is nice, and the typography on the spine under the dust jacket is nice. So this book in, in full view is just amazingly designed and beautiful and gorgeous. So yes, that is Sick by Tom Levine. <coughs> Next book I have to show you is another one I haven't read, and this is We Used to Be Kings, and it's by Stuart Foster. And I believe this is about mental illness, which is why I picked it up. Um, and yeah, I love this cover. It's very simple. It's look, it looks like it's been drawn by a child, which I love. Um, and I love the typography on it. It's like chalk. And I think the yellow really stands out against the dark background. But I just love this cover. Um, yeah, and I love the spine because it's a very simple design. Um, yeah, it's just really nice. It looks really nice on the shelf. And um, yeah, I love the whole design and overall aspect of this book. Um, yeah, and I really like it. I think it's about six years ago Tom's brother died the next day he came back. Yes, yeah, so this is like along the same lines as The Shock of the Fall. Um, and another, uh, and like a, it sounds weird, but it kind of sounds like um, a book I read a while ago called The Hunting Ground by Cliff McNish. But anyway, yeah, I, I just really like this. And I love the typography of the chalk against the dark background. I think that's amazing. So, yes. Okay, the next book is one I received from Canongate. Uh, a few days ago I did a book haul of all my Canon Gate books um, and this is The Goddess Chronicle by Natsua Carino who also wrote I think it's called the Out Trilogy or the Real World Trilogy which is Out, Grotesque and the Real World um, and this cover first of all is gorgeous like I think those are orchids and there's like blood on one of them and it's really nice gold design and it looks really smart and it's just beautiful I just love this cover. I think it's gorgeous. And the spine is kind of the same design. It has the flowers here. And the spine. Look at the spine. It's gorgeous. When it's on the shelf, it just looks so pretty. And yeah, I just love this design. I just love the gold against the black and the striking white and red. Yeah, this actually looks like a really good book. I'm actually really excited to start reading this. This is like a retelling of a traditional... Chinese, I think. Is it Chinese? I think, it's chi I think it's Chinese or Japanese, but it's like a Chinese-Japanese fairy tale. Something like that. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading that. And I love the cover. love all the gold against the black. And the spine is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next book I also recently received from Canon Gate. And it is the hardcover version uh, Patrick Ness's The Crane Wife. I love this cut. This is just a stunning cover. It's one of the best book covers I own. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a woman's face and it's a big wing and that's it. But it looks absolutely gorgeous. And look at the typography of the title. I think that is just... <sighs> There's really no words for me to explain. Look at the typography and look at the cover and look at the back. There's like some... A volcano on the back with a crane up here and the moon against a really nice like twilight type background I just think it's absolutely beautiful and obviously the spine the spine is amazing like the design from the wing goes onto the spine which I think is beautiful and even like even some of the wing comes across the letters and yeah I just love this spine and this like striking white strip right down the middle of the spine is awesome yeah I love I love this cover and I love the overall design of the book I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah I'm actually really excited to read this one too <coughs> so yeah that's The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness and now on to a couple of trilo well one trilogy and a, and a series um, 
So the trilogy I'm talking about is The Last Werewolf Trilogy by Glenn Duncan. I received these for review by Canon Gate as, from Canon Gate as well. So we have The Last Werewolf, book two, Tallulah Rising, and the third and final book, By Blood We Live. First of all, these covers are stunning. I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. But what I really like is because it's a trilogy, when you put all the books together, all the spines match. They're all matching. There's nothing out of place on the spines. That's what I love. I like the typography of the titles on the spine. On the spines are amazing. Look at the typography. It's really nice. And I think this is my favourite cover of the trilogy. Because it's just absolutely gorgeous. And these are like buttery, waxy covers as well. But yeah, I just love these spines. They look really good on the shelf. And then the last set of books I have is a series, but I don't have the fourth book. Um, and they are the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. Uh, so we have the Maze Runner, which I've read and reviewed and absolutely loved. And my review is on this channel. And then The Scorch Trials, book two, which I'm currently reading, and it's amazing. And then book three, The Death Cure. And first of all, I like these covers because I didn't like the original covers that came out. But these covers are really good, and they reflect the story much more. You know, it's a YA story for young people, and that's what these covers do. They reflect that. And I think that's good, because that's what needs to happen with books. Um, yeah, and the spines all match, and at the top of the spines, if you can see, let me put them the right way around, they say book one, book two, and book three, and they all match, and they all look gorgeous, even though this one's a bit beaten up, and this one's going to look like this soon, but yeah, I love them, and I love those covers. So that's my video about my cover slash spine obsessions. Um... If you like this video, please like, and if you wish, you may subscribe. Um, I've currently got an international giveaway going on to win an ARC copy of Nikotessa Secret Agent Gadget Battle. Bit of a mouthful. Um, but if you go and watch the previous video to this one, you'll find that giveaway and you can enter it. Um, and let me know what you think about these covers and spines and... Maybe show me some of your favourite covers and spines because it would be great to watch the video. Um, if you would like to... <coughs> Sorry. Um, if you do make a similar video, please let me know in the comments below and I will go and check it out. I will watch every single one. Um, yeah, and that's it from me today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. And happy reading and I will see you again soon. Uh, you just saw a man running...